at those pretty things. Check out these morning glories. They're definitely uh, blooming out twice as much as they did last year right here. And uh, I'm gonna just let them continue to thrive. Beautiful. Hey, Mr. Puppy. That's right. I'm just gonna accompany me as uh, I do my little uh, ground foot uh, health endurance right here that I'm attempting to uh, accomplish here in the backyard. Just gonna attempt to do what we can, how we can, when we can. What's going on? So yeah, I definitely have been uh, stepping up, no pun intended, but hey, it works on improving my foot walking here on practically the outdoors and this is something I just don't do. I have a lot of deadly things out here that uh, can harm not just my feet but Havoc's feet as well. Uh, it is that time of year to where we actually have plenty of uh, seeds of all, tar of all sorts and plants of all sorts that grow and they grow in a serious defense mechanism out here. Either it be it cactus, goat heads, or any other type of uh, sticky thorn uh, vegetation out here that I'm unaware to tell you, but you get the point. Having said that, I'm sure I'm probably gonna be getting a, a point or two here in my feet as well as I do this walking. Okay, time to cross the threshold, and uh, we're gonna go out here. And uh, yeah, you sometimes find uh, human treasure out here of all sorts. There's a tennis ball. Oh, yeah, look at all this right over here. Okay. We got a old, looks like a tied sock, some sort, or somebody uh, playing tug of war with their dog, I'm sure. A couple of cans. Uh, sunscreen. Looks like an old uh, water gun of some sort, bottle. And what is this? Ah. Oh, okay. It's a sight to a plastic gun. I don't think it came to that one, but who knows. What we're about to share here while I'm doing my little walk is practically about Mr. Puppy Havoc himself and uh, the scares he kind of put us through uh, during a, sing a certain moment earlier this month. There he goes, look at him Mr. Puppy, yeah. Goes. He is definitely doing much better. He's back to his old self. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there. But uh, whenever I started recording all this, I had no clue what was going on with him other than Mama honestly woke up in severe pain and he snuggled deep in hard on her that the night before. And uh, the next morning, he just didn't want to get up and move at all or anything of that nature. Oh my God. But since then, he has been back on the mend. He is back on his runners again. Uh, he just had a good mountain dog runner earlier this morning. He'll be getting another one this evening. Uh, my daughter's doing some house sitting up there, uh, taking care of some animals. And uh, we go and uh, assist uh, by being the driver. And Havoc gets uh, bonuses out of that as well and runs around the fields. But basically sitting here rambling on like I do sometimes try to get back to the point instead of squirreling off. He did put us through a scare and he will be 13 in a few months believe it or not. I'm not sure exactly how to really explain it other than uh, whatever happened with him um, I kind of started figuring it out. Uh, I can't make a long story short that's too late but I'll just try to get to the point. I do believe it was possibly some of the uh, you know, he just ended up taking some of the extra negativity that was, you know, hung on to mama. But he also had a swollen spot on the front of his neck. As I was putting the video together, I started sitting there and uh, looking at different things. And whenever I brought him home on one of those uh, days from the dog park and went to go take his uh, collar off like we do whenever he is here at the house, you know, let him get that extra comfort. Anyway, I leave his collar usually really loose and we just slip it off. Uh, you know on the daily and once we got home from the dog park that day I uh, ended up hearing him do a serious yipe and you could feel the extra t tension on his collar than what I was used to 
and I ended up checking out the front part of his neck and noticed that it was slightly swollen as well. Unsure on how that did happen, but I could almost tell you it's possible that he did capture a bee, wasp, or some other type of a stinging insect that he decided that he wanted to eat because that's just what he does, you know? He likes to eat flies, bees, uh, prairie dogs, bunnies, mice, you know, anything of that nature, you know, he does not mind. Uh, and that could have been a possibility along with some of his pain the very first morning. And it just happened to coincide with mom's back at the same time. So there's a possibility that could have happened with him. So when I took him there, he started to actually uplift his attitude. Uh, you know, he, he couldn't even jump in the truck. He didn't even want to jump off the bed. Uh, you know, and when we lifted him, he wanted to yipe. And I would grab him from the, you know, the back of his legs and also in the front and just hug him down and he was yiping. And I believe that had something to do with the front part of his chest and where his neck was that I saw the swollen area. Right here is what I'm talking about. If you can see, I can't even tell it right now. But yeah, this was the area and this was seriously swollen and you could feel a knot up in there too so see look he's already trying to eat something as i'm sitting here playing with his neck little gizzard there oh my goodness how far did i walk okay my feet are already getting hot <laughs> Woo. i gotta take it easy and build this up slowly this is my first real true excursion out here doing the whole barefoot thing and believe it or not, yeah, my feet are baby soft. Softer than my kids and my wife's feet all put together. It's just the way they've always been. As you could say I'm really a tenderfoot. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up where we're at and get back to the house and do the outro from there. So once again, you know where we go from here. Stick around and enjoy the show. think he's got some muscle soreness uh, he jumped up toward the front and yiped again so uh, yeah I think he's got a little bit of joint muscle soreness but uh, we're gonna just watch him he is yiping here and there you see how he's kind of walking a little slow but uh, I want to keep watching I'll pay attention if he has to try to use the restroom and whimpers on this we're gonna just walk I already took him down by the water. He just took a drink. He wasn't really interested in getting in. And maybe that's a joint issue and he knows. But we'll walk and I'm going to watch it all the way around. Even if it's digestive, we, you know out here he's going to push through on that. Because he has to leave his scent just about everywhere. So it's a plus on the many ways. Halfway around and now look at him. I think he just needed to ground himself and get rid of some of that negative energy. You should see how he's running around with these two Pyrenees right here, just having a blast. Like, nothing was wrong with him today, so that's a plus. I mean, he's all over the place here, trying to throw a stick, but you know, they start running, he gets sidetracked and ready to play. You got it. There you go, come on. Come on. Good boy. Look at him. Boy, look at you. Good 
that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll just, oh, look, here's another copy. Uh, we'll just go this and go around and hit the middle trail today. We definitely, definitely have some luscious greenery this season, this year. Uh, I would say uh, doubled from uh, the previous, my opinion. And honestly, around here, that's a good thing. Yeah. We're going to tra trailblaze right through there. Come on, hack. Good. You wouldn't know it today. But yesterday, he definitely gave us a scare for the way he was moving around, or let's just say the lack of movement he was wanting to do. And uh, when you ended up picking him up, uh, he was uh, yiping here and there. So he had some soreness. Uh, we weren't really sure how and where or what. Um, we honestly possibly came to a conclusion that he might have picked up some of the extra energy that rubbed off of mama because right now she is still on bed rest because uh, she's got a serious uh, back injury that just uh, flared up and uh, when that usually happens um, yeah Havoc tends to uh, honestly be right by your side and you know try to be there for as much as he can Yes, uh, he wasn't even eating his chicken jerky that I make, or, you know, just, he, he didn't care. He was not in that mode, and I was already thinking he was thinking of somewhere else at that moment, you know what I mean. And if that time comes, well, uh, if you follow my channel and you see how I, how he uh, goes, I try to always give him every single day like it's the last anyway, because you just never know. So besides that and seeing his attitude today versus the scare he gave us yesterday, um, uh, once again, like I said, uh, you know, I made him some real chicken, kept him away from a lot of the dry food, even the dry chicken jerky. Uh, wanted to make sure whatever is even in his digestive system, just all of it, just let's cleanse him through and through however I can. And uh, with his chicken, I cook up some celery and dandelion. Yes, I do. Uh, get it in his system and he slowly but surely by the end of last night he finished it all off and uh, this is the result of how he's uh, moving around today uh, yeah and uh, that's pretty much where we're at on that he's lucky because uh, he's getting another fresh chicken today and yes on top of that I have checked his stool since yesterday and uh, no blood uh, no obstructions of any type that I saw uh, and even right now too uh, it's definitely loose and he's moving through a little more green today but like I said uh, I put uh, celery and dandelion and cooked it up with his chicken and he eats every single bit of it and besides all that it's just another day I'll even go as far as even saying a beautiful one at that too I honestly thought it was going to be a lot hotter than it is at this moment. And uh, I guess being back here on the back trails in this dog park with the extra shading and not being right on that asphalt or concrete is a plus. And honestly, I'll probably share again uh, the uh, deals on uh, walking your dog on this concrete and asphalt again uh, with certain temperatures and the differences between what they feel and what you feel. Good idea, puppy. We'll take this trail. And from here, we'll go that way. Continue that way, or go that way. I think we're just going to continue that way. In front of me, that's where he likes to be. Uh, the scout and the protector, I guess. 
definitely wants to clear the path before I uh, encounter anything. And, you know, that's okay. Either way, we kind of look after each other. And look at you. Happy. Funny thing about uh, sometimes uh, with dogs when they roll, uh, he would come across some dead carcasses here and there uh, through our trailblazing or even just wet, whatever. And uh, he would just stop and lay down and start rolling on this dead carcass. And for the longest time, I used to just sit there and question, why are you doing this? So I ended up taking my time to do the research and found out that is honestly a, uh, it's a predator disguise thing, you know? Uh, they uh, use that other scent to mask theirs, which is pretty cool to understand now, instead of just telling them that, you know, sh you, know you shouldn't do that because, you know, it's written in his DNA and he follows along through it. And it's just up, for, up to us or even me to understand that and uh, not encourage it. But, you know, I definitely don't scold him for doing it. You know, I probably, I'm sure at first, I think when we first saw it, you know, we were like, oh, no, get away from that, you know. But uh, now, you know, you get him off and roll on. But yeah, Mr. Puppy is doing really good today. All in all, so I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, well, get you. okay, I'll take that one. And once we get out of here, I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let him relax again and not string him out too hard today. Like I said, he's uh, still on the recoup for whatever means uh, he needs. So I'm not really gonna give him a run for probably a, a week probably just be bringing him on walks more often at this moment make sure he's good to go again that's the type of things really I was worried about right there and uh, uh, yeah I'm just willy-nilly in it out here mm-hmm yep there's another one Woo! Oh yeah, nature definitely learns to protect itself, I'll tell you that. Yep, there's another one. Check out that beautiful cactus though, look at that flower. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, wouldn't want to step on it though. Oh yeah. To the truth, I can't even see where I came down. I came down so graceful, I can't even see the trail I made. but. Uh, Definitely saw the way Havoc walked out of here, so he just went straight through that area right there, and that's what I'm gonna have to do because I know I came in through up that way, but I can't tell. <laughs> and that's where we're at on that. We'll catch you on the next flip flop. Ha 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 ha!